Thank you all for joining us. Lots to get to, but off the top, breaking news here in Billings. A seven-hour-long standoff ends overnight with a murder suspect finally in custody. No police were hurt, arresting the man who had been barricading himself inside a house on 12th Street West since 6 o'clock last night. Police believe he's responsible for multiple crimes. Q2's Jackie Coffin has been following the situation from the beginning and brings us the very latest. After seven hours, a police standoff with a man barricaded inside of a residence off of 12th Street has ended. It's about 1.30 in the morning and you can see emergency personnel and law enforcement breaking down and leaving the area after a very long night. Streets closed and SWAT teams deployed. Multiple agencies responded to a string of crime scenes up and down 12th Street. A man armed and barricaded inside a house on Burlington and 12th and refusing to come out after police say he shot and killed another man on the north side of Grand between Avenue E and Avenue F, stole the victim's car and drove down 12th Street at high speeds, crossing Grand and smashing into several cars in front of Big B Bingo, then running into a nearby house, shooting and injuring a person inside who was trying to flee. The man shot and injured trying to leave the house was taken to St. Vincent's Hospital. He was shooting out the window about uh, about 30 minutes after the incident. Uh, we don't know what he was shooting at yet. The whole incident happened at about 6 p.m. Sunday, but it wasn't until seven hours later around 1 a.m. Monday that SWAT team members were able to enter the house after deploying gas and scanning the area with a bomb squad robot locate the man in a basement room and take him into custody without injury to the suspect or law enforcement. I would I would say that it speaks to the amount of skill and the training that the, that the SWAT team and negotiators and our bomb guys have uh, and the equipment that we're able to utilize. The pieces are still coming together. Firefighters say they initially were responding to a call of a shooting at a birthday party, that being the house on 12th and Burlington, where the suspect forced his way in and shot the person fleeing. Uh, and in this situation, it worked out to our benefit that, that we were able to come to a peaceful resolution and, and get this individual secured and off the streets. Law enforcement grateful that the standoff ended the way it did. In Billings, Jackie Coffin, MTN News. Thank you, Jackie, for following that. Billings police issued their first official communication about the shooting and the barricaded suspect about two hours after officers officially responded. That tweet included a warning for the public to stay out of the area. Billings police began encrypting their scanners on November 15th, they say, to enhance officer safety.